Everyone has an old jar of tomato sauce sitting in their pantry, gathering dust, wasting away. Today, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is take that jar of sad sauce that's been sitting in your cupboard for months and make it feel a little bit more homemade and special. Jazz up your pasta. Jazzy, jazz, jazz. This isn't really a recipe. You can kind of mess around with this and do whatever you want, depending on what you have available at your house. These are some things that I have in my pantry. I'm gonna take about half an onion. I'm gonna leave the root end intact. Just slice this up. And this doesn't have to be sliced perfectly. Make another little incision there. Another one up there. And then just slice it. I'm gonna get another, maybe a clove of garlic. You always wanna take off this little knobby bit. That's gonna help us get the skin off of it. I'm gonna thinly slice this. And then just Turn it on its side so it's flat like that. That's gonna make it more stable. And then just thinly slice. My pan's nice and hot. A few tablespoons of olive oil, if you have vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil you want. Nice and hot. I'm gonna infuse it with the flavors of the garlic and of the onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it as well. This is gonna help sweat it out. Give it a little, a little toss. The key to doctoring up, you know, any of these sauces or any of some other, other recipes that you might do is building up your flavor base. I'm also gonna add a little bit of chili flakes, maybe like, I don't know, half a teaspoon or so. I want this to be a little bit of a faster sauce though, because I'm hungry as hell. I want to eat in the next like 15 minutes, you know what I mean? If not sooner. I'm gonna add my tomatoes next. I'm just gonna have them. I want to keep them chunky. I want this to be like a chunkier sauce. The tomatoes are going to blister a bit. They're going to release some moisture. I'm going to add a teensy bit more salt. Let it go. So I got my plain jar of red sauce here. Just going to crack it open. I'm going to add this all into here. You can see that's nice and mixed up in there. It's softened, it's looking really beautiful. Add my red sauce. You can add a little bit of water to this. Just a splash of water, put the lid back on it, shake it up. You're not wasting any of that sauce. Give this a bit of a mix. We're gonna simmer it, we're gonna heat it up. Maybe that sad sauce is looking better already. I'm adding a little bit of sugar to it. Just a touch. It helps bring out some of the flavors of the tomatoes and everything. So you can add any herbs and stuff you want to this also. I'm gonna add basil and parsley. It's gonna give these a bit of a Slice, add it in, just like that. Any red sauce I always have, I always finish with butter. I feel like it's like an Italian little like trick. I don't know if a lot of people at home know to do this. Adds a nice richness to it, a tablespoon or so. Let it melt right in, and you've got, you've got some nice homemade pasta sauce right here. Now you can use it right now with spaghetti, but you can use it as dipping sauce with calzones or mozzarella sticks. You know what you could also do with this? Add a little bit of chicken stock to it, thin it out, and make this into like tomato soup. That would be fucking delicious. It's pretty much good to go right now. This is basically like 10 minutes. 10 minutes to paradise. Is that the song? Crack of black pepper. Why not? Done. Tastes just like Nona used to make. 